Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 Creative World video. So this is a bit longer than the last couple have been. It's actually almost like double the length or more than double the length. So yeah, it's it's longer because I spent a lot more time on one of the lots in this video. Well, it's actually only two lots in this video. So the second one I spend a lot more time on because I built a lot of it from scratch. But we'll get to that soon because right now we're working on the bistro. So this is a standalone bistro. I know I already placed a cafe a couple epi episodes ago with um, the office building. It was like a double um, rabbit hole, it was like a two in one. But this is the standalone bistro, which I kind of wanted to have in the world. And this is the base game one, and it is just kind of near the city center. Actually, it's in the city center. It's right across the street, pretty much, from where the Central Park is going to go. So I thought it was a pretty good location. And it's built on lot number 14. So this is available for download. Uh, there'll be links in the description below to this and the next lot we're going to do as well. So you can, of course, download these and put them uh, on the lots that they were built on. So this is built on lot number 14. Um, here in like the town center area. So, you know, this um, came together pretty quickly because, I mean, it's just a small lot with a rabbit hole on it, but uh, I put like a nice little um, outdoor eating area in the front, and I'm also putting in, um, like I put a little garden in the back, kind of like my idea for the lot, like right next to this one, which is kind of like long and skinny, you can kind of see it, uh, is uh, to make it a community garden. So I kind of already started that theme with this lot, so I put like a little garden out back behind this restaurant. So I kind of imagine that like maybe that's where they get some of their, you know, fruit and vegetables. They grow it themselves, um, at least some of them. And then like next to it will be even more um, things like that. But it also acts as like a good place where your Sims can go harvest seeds and stuff from some trees that are already growing. So anyway, here you can see I'm just putting in some details just around this, um, around this, kind of front entrance area and also some trees around the sides and the back and I'm also going to put in um, just some more things you know just some more details um, I'm looking for like a specific sign that I used on the other cafe and I couldn't find it but I found one similar to it. I don't know when I put it in but it's kind of like a menu sign thing I was also like a little air conditioner and dumpster out the back there and also some potted plants isn't that nice but yeah uh, and also we're gonna be on the garden here so uh, basically, I got all these plants, um, pre-grown plants from the buy to bug menu. And so the trees I use are apple trees and lime trees and also a couple varieties from World Adventures. And I think one's like a plum tree and I don't know what the other one is. So yeah, so there's some uh, good variety of trees here. There's uh, four different kinds of trees. And then I think some like tomatoes, garlic, pepper, uh, I think are the uh, other plants there. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's just a small little garden in the back of the restaurant. And uh, just doing a little bit of um, terrain paint work back here as well. So, you know, just some details like that, uh, you know. And actually, we're pretty much nearing the completion for this a lot. It's not very complicated, but, you know, just doing a few more details down the sides there. A bit more terrain paint. And I'm also going to find that menu sign there. Well, that's one version of it, I guess, but I kind of put that out front. So there you go. And I think, oh, so outdoor lighting, of course, need some of that too. So I'm going to put in, I also put a little drinks tray. I thought that would be nice, but yeah, also just some other small things, um, you know, a little barrel. I don't know why. And there's some lights and I think I put in some more too later on, um, or actually right now at this very moment. So just some kind of like fancy looking lights. Uh, around and uh, and then some at the back or just one at the back there I kind of like to put the light into the wall of the building so it looks like it's part of the building I thought that was kind of nice but anyway we're moving on now to the next lot so this is what the rest of the video is going to be dedicated to building so the main idea here is that uh, I have this pretty large uh, lot here and then this um, rabbit hole for the grocery store and then I had like all this empty space so I was like well let's use it so I built a couple of stores and apartments um, on this lot. So um, I was not intent, I mean, I kind of wanted to do this. Uh, I didn't intend to get uh, to doing this so soon in the series. I don't know, I thought I'd do this later on, but uh, you know, it's fine, we're doing it now. And so yeah, basically we have these two buildings that are kind of like meant to look like they're part of the rabbit hole. So it's like all kind of one series. So 
what I could have done um, and would have been would have been easiest is just to have built these buildings and then decorated the outside of them and then just painted the inside, you know, black, like all black, um, just to make them look like rabbit holes. You know, I could have done that, but no, I did not do that. I went a little bit uh, farther and I completely furnished the interiors of both buildings. So that's why this is such a long episode. So uh, there's two stores and then two apartments. So I know that's, uh, I think someone asked a while ago if I was going to do apartments, and I said no. Um, so I was basically saying no to apartment buildings, but there are apartments here. So technically, um, I think your sim could, I mean, it's a com- the thing is, though, it, this is a community lot. So your sims can't live here uh, on this lot, I guess, unless you changed it, but like changed it to residential. But I don't know if you can because there's a rabbit hole on it. So the idea was that these apartments were more for just decoration. These stores, however, are fully functional. I used the content from Midnight Hollow from the Sims 3 store. So all the objects I place in there are actually for sale. And your Sims can go and actually buy them. So that's kind of cool. And um, yeah, there's only one weird quirk. is like I left this lot set to like just general commu- community lot with like just visitors allowed. But for some reason, the game automatically changed it to become an art gallery. And I don't know why. Even like I didn't change it myself. And it said like I went to uh, change it back and it said warning this lot contains special objects that make it an art gallery and I was like what no it doesn't it is not an art gallery it has it's literally a, ra- a grocery store rabbit hole and then some shops with like some furniture in the rooms above how does that make this how does that make this a, a art gallery so I changed it back to a just normal community lot but if you download this and it's like an art gallery for some reason, you'll have to change it again for, I don't know why it, it assigns this as an art gallery. But, uh, oh, by the way, this is on lot number 23. So it's right across the street from the bistro we just built. But essentially here you can see the buildings are coming along. Uh, we have two, I made this um, one I'm working on right now a bit taller because I wanted it to kind of match the grocery store there. So they kind of looked... Um, like like one nice kind of a, a unified section. Well, not to be unified, but like it looked more balanced, I guess. So yeah, I mean the idea here is to look like three separate buildings, kind of like uh, quaint little shops with like little apartments above them, which I thought was pretty cool. And I really like the way this turned out. It's probably I mean like I said at the beginning of this video, it's pretty much my favorite um, lot that I've created, um, my favorite community lot that I've created so far. It's pretty cool. And yeah, so putting in some lighting, and um, I also kind of had to tweak where the rabbit hole was positioned because otherwise it was kind of glitching through the wall of the building right next door. But yeah, uh, putting in some more doors and windows, and the stores are pretty small. I mean, these aren't huge buildings, obviously. And the upstairs of the one closest to the rabbit hole is going to be a studio apartment, and then the other building is going to have a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment that's two stories tall because it's a three story tall building. And also has a skylight for the bedroom up there as you can probably see, which is pretty cool. But again, these are not meant for your Sims to live in. These are just purely decorative. So you can look at them, I guess, but you can't, your Sims can't really live in them. And there's also like some weird quirks about building on community lots. Like you can't have um, dishwashers and you can't have stoves. And I looked up like how to get around that, and you really can't unless you do some stuff in Creator World, which I didn't want to go back into Creator World. So, yeah, this is um, a community lot, so that means there's no stoves in the kitchens of these apartments, and no dishwashers. So it's a little weird, but it's just the way it is. You know, again, it's just meant to be decorative. So essentially, here's putting in the layouts for these um, apartments, putting in some doors. I mean, they're pretty simple. They're not very complicated buildings and the entrances to the apartments are separate from the store so um you, you know this they're, they're like a, a separate door that goes outside to get to the apartment you don't go through the store to get to upstairs because that's usually not how it's done and so here uh, putting in just where some pathways are going to go essentially uh, around the back there so the lot next door to this well this is on a corner but right next door um is the Central Park or what will be the Central Park in the future. So I, I didn't want like the, like right now, or the way it was going to be is the back of the building would be facing the Central Park, which I thought wasn't so nice. So I tried to make the back of the building look nicer. 
Um, you know, so there's like there's secondary entrances entrances to the stores that face the back. I also put some nice landscaping there. So that means there's not like things like a dumpster for the grocery store, which I know would be realistic, but it would look ugly. So there's no dumpster. Uh, I wanted to kind of look nicer in the back. But anyway, putting in some trees just along the street there. Also, just like a little flower bed here um, in front of the store. And also just, again, adjusting the rabbit hole. So, yeah, just going in for just some nice details and stuff. I really like the way this turned out. It just sits on this corner so nicely. And I intend on doing the same thing on the other side because there's a, an identical um, lot on the other side of the Central Park that I kind of want to do the same exact thing for the bookstore because the bookstore rabbit hole is very similar to this um, grocery store one. It kind of like goes around, it's like a corner store type of thing. So I think it would work really well to kind of do something like this uh, as well for that lot, but that'll be coming in the future. So yeah, pretty much uh, we're gonna start on the stores, I guess. So this first store is kind of like, I don't know, it's like they sell lights and just random sculpt, like random decor items, I guess. So it's a very specific thing, but yeah. And these shelves I'm using are from the uh, Midnight Hollow set. So is the cash register. So with the pedestals I'm going to use and then the rugs in the other store next to, next to it will also be um, from that set. So those are all the selling things. So that allows um, your Sims to be able to sell items in this store. And yeah, so that makes it functional. And so basically just finding the pedestal there. There's the pedestal. And yeah, this is pretty much... Uh, the layout of the store so putting in some wood flooring and yeah I mean again as you can see it's it's pretty small it's not these are not huge buildings these are just pretty small but it took me a while to build them still even though they're not very big uh, I don't know I just like I kind of went all out on these but putting in some uh, details or what, not details the colors and oh and by the way about this like stores like this I want to put a lot more of these around the world especially especially kind of um, like in the wharf area um, because I think that's that's like the perfect place to have like small specialized kind of stores that your sims can own so I think that'll be really cool and of course there'll be more stores like this um, attached to the bookstore rabbit hole so it kind of just makes the world feel a lot more cozy and more um, like realistic I guess to have like all these small shops and stuff and like not to have all these just standalone buildings but to have these like joined buildings like this you know so I think it just helps make it helps like bring a better atmosphere to the town center area of this world and anyway I'm putting in um, just some lamps for sale so if your sim wants to buy a lamp from a store they can come here and they can buy lamps so that's cool I guess and uh, just some other details. And also, this store sells um, some yellow horses. You'll see that in a moment. I don't know when I get around to it, but yeah. I mean, of course. How could the store not sell that? Um, so wait, there, there we go. So your Sims can come here, and they can buy the infamous yellow horse and put it in their own house. So uh, also putting in some candles and also a uh, little decorative object there. Uh, not everything in the store is for sale. There's some items that are just purely decorative, but anything that's on the shelves or on the pedestals is for sale. And also put in some plants and uh, just some more things. That rug is just a normal rug for decoration purposes. It's not one of the for sale rugs uh, or like the rugs that you put things on to sell things. And also a little column there just for some added detail. A bookshelf behind the cash register there. And yeah, so that's that store. We're moving on now to the ne the store at... Um, um, next door I guess uh, so this store um, or next door did I say next door the store next door now the store next door uh, anyway this store is like more of a furniture store so I put in um, some rugs like from rugs that like allow you to sell things and I just put some furniture on them so uh, you'll see that but yeah putting in the rugs here so we just have um, those are the rugs from Midnight Hollow, and I'm just um, recoloring them, so we have there's a bit of a nicer look, I suppose. But, yep, uh, and then there's a couple of chairs there that are for sale. I'm also going to put in uh, like a table, and you'll see as it comes together. But, yeah, essentially these are the stores, and these are fully functional. Um, they function as stores, so if you download this lot and place it on, was it, lot 23? Um, that's just what uh, it's designed to fit, but it can go on many other size lots as well but 
yeah, so your Sims can come here and they can just buy things because it's that's just it's, it's functional. Well, that is as long as you have Midnight Hollow from the Sims 3 store. If you don't have Midnight Hollow from the Sims 3 store, you can still download it, but they won't function as stores. They'll just be purely decorative. Anyways, also a variety of mirrors for sale here that your Sims can browse, I guess. So, yep, uh, those are there. I'm just trying to have a nice variety. And also some plants for sale, too. Some potted flowers and things. But, yeah, it's pretty much this store. Just putting in some more details around the place. Also, that painting I really like from Aurora Skies. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this store. It's not um, too complicated. And... Uh, also some curtains. Also, I discovered these curtains from the store. They must have come from a set that I just got because they're really great. I really like them. They're kind of like, they're like similar to the ones in The Sims 4. They're like separate um, curtains, so you don't have to, you can probably like place one on each side of the window so they can kind of fit any size window. I put them in the other store you might have noticed uh, a little while ago, but anyway, this is just a public bathroom for this store, so if your Sims come to this lot, they can use the bathroom here. There's also more bathrooms in the apartments, too, but um, they are functional, but again, they're meant to be more decorative. So here, just uh, recoloring the roof of this building, because I never did that, so there you go. I'm just making it all match nicely, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the exterior. Um, I have to do some more landscaping around the back, so I think I'm going to do that now before we jump upstairs to the apartments, but here I'm just putting in some bushes and flowers. I'm trying to make the back of the lot look nicer because, again, this is what faces the Central Park area, so, you know, for anyone in the park, this is what they're seeing in the buildings, the view that they're seeing of the buildings, so I kind of want them to have a nicer look from the back uh, as well, but also the side here is not so important because there's going to be another building right next door to the side because there's a lot right next door to this one, so yeah, so that's uh, why this side of the building is kind of blank, but it's fine, and putting in some dirt terrain paint here, uh, of course, just the classic dirt terrain paint that you would expect. And uh, a little trash can there. Also some benches uh, around the place, just so it's like kind of a nice little area there out, uh, out in the back of the building. And I also put in some outdoor lighting as well. So again, I use this technique where I kind of, not really much of a technique, but I just kind of merge the lights into the rabbit holes. They look like they're part of the building as opposed to being separate objects. So it's kind of like what I, that's kind of what I like to do. I put one just on the back there as well. So uh, a lot of nice light there for this building. So I believe all that's left to do now is the apartments. So uh, we're just going to work on the little staircase here. So you can see the entrance to this apartment is separate from the store. It's kind of like a door on the side there. And uh, now we're putting in some lights that kind of go upstairs. And this is the first floor of this larger apartment. Uh, this is a, a one bedroom and one and a half bathroom apartment. And uh, yeah, so it's putting in the wall colors and the stair colors there. There's no, um, like I said before, there's no oven. So again, even if your Sims, uh, your Sims, I mean, any Sim could live here because it's a community lot. So you can just visit it and spend all your time in the apartment up here if you want to. I don't know if you can lock doors on community lots, but if you can, then you could just lock everyone else out and be like, this is my apartment now that I did not pay for. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that it works, I guess, if your sims just want to spend all their time here. And yeah, so putting in uh, just some, uh, well, just a dining table, I guess. Uh, I left a hole there for the oven, which I could never end up putting in, so I just put a cabinet there instead. But here's a little living area, a couple love seats, a TV. Um, again, it's not like super fancy. Those are the curtains I'm talking about here. Um, yeah, so it's not a super fancy apartment. I mean, again, it's just meant to be an apartment, so... You know, it's not uh, anything too over the top, but I think it looks pretty nice. Putting a tile backsplash in here for the kitchen, just so it, you know, looks like you're not going to damage the walls there. Also changing the colors of things just around the room, and I'm going to put in a nice little painting there, and just some other things, some lights, and uh, probably a rug at some point, so we'll see when that happens. There's the rug. So yeah, and then upstairs is just the bedroom, so it's not... Uh, now, it's not a huge apartment, but it is over two floors, which is pretty nice. There's also a half bathroom here, just because I had space for it. There's no laundry room, but then again, in real life, not all apartments have uh, laundry. And the uh, building that I intend to build right next door to this one is going to be the laundromat. So, you know, that'll work out fine, uh, theoretically. So, yeah, here just putting in 
just some more things, a toilet there and a little toilet roll, a bit of a painting on the wall and uh, some curtains there for the bathroom. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this level of the building. So we're gonna move on now to the second floor, I believe, uh, soon, maybe. Some more details in the bathroom, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna move on to the um, upper level. There's also this freeze level here because I wanted to make the buildings look a bit nice from the outside. So it's a pretty thick freeze level so a lot of stairs to get up here, but um, oh, also there I removed the area for the oven. But anyway, this is where the bedroom is going to go. Uh, it's pretty nice. There's no door to the bedroom. It's just, you know, open to downstairs pretty much. But, you know, again, again, the other apartment's a studio. So th this one does have that advantage where the bedroom's on a different level. But yeah, this is a pretty simple bedroom, putting in the bed there and some nightstands and uh, also some nice lamps and also some bit of an artwork bit of an artwork some artwork <laughs> over the bed so there's that I also put in a dresser of course and I put in like a little sitting area and a uh, nice bit of artwork on the wall bookshelf yeah it's actually a pretty cozy room I really like the way it turned out and uh, there's a couple chairs so there you go there is your bedroom and also some plants some details and a rug of course and now we're gonna move on to, I think, the bathroom, which is the uh, ensuite bathroom for this bedroom. It's the full bathroom in the house, or apartment, rather. It's not really a house. Uh, so yeah, this uh, bathroom up here, of course, has everything that your Sims could need. And even though your Sims won't be living here, or maybe they'll be um, just using this lot for free because you can technically do that. So yeah, this bathroom up here has dual sinks, uh, a couple mirrors course and then just a tub not a tub sorry just a shower and a toilet so yes yeah, also a closet uh, right there as well so your sims can uh, keep clothes there I guess and yeah so also some flower or your sims can't really keep clothes and it's just a decorative object but you know in theory so anyway uh, there's the closet so that's this apartment complete there's one more apartment to do which is the one above the shop next door so this apartment is just gonna be a studio apartment. It's just one room uh, with a bathroom. That's all it is because, you know, there wasn't any other space uh, in this building. So this is the smaller building. It's only two floors. It's a very small footprint. So uh, there really wasn't much room to work with here, but there's the kitchen. Again, no oven because I can't put one in on a community lot, but it's fine. And, you know, again, just decorative. And um, yeah, this is pretty much the whole apartment, just this one room. And I'm putting in uh, just some wallpaper here, some tile there behind the counters. And uh, the bed is going to be kind of like in its own little corner. I put a wall segment in to kind of uh, make it feel a little bit more secluded. So that's where the bed goes. It's not even going to be a dresser. There's no room for a dresser. There's also a curtain there to kind of, um, you know, give the illusion of privacy, I guess, if you want to like shut the bed out. I don't know. And um, there's also a table here. So this is the dining table. Ironically, this apartment has four chairs at the dining table and the other one only has three, despite this being the smaller one, but whatever. And yeah, here's the living room area. It's just got a couch and a TV. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I also put in this coffee table, but yeah, I mean, that is this apartment, this one room apartment, and also putting in some other decorations. But anyway, we're pretty much at the end of this episode, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you check out my channel and consider subscribing. Uh, there's also plenty more episodes in this series that you can check out if you want to see me create this world from scratch, uh, the world that I'm building in right now. You can see that in the playlist. And of course, you can download these lots. The Bistro is on lot number 14. This um, is lot number 23. Of course, all the download links will be in the description below. There's also some screenshots coming up that you can check out so you can kind of see the interiors of these apartments closer up. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just doing some more details here, just putting in the bathroom there for that apartment, coloring in the freeze levels black. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Hope that you enjoy the screenshots and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Anyway, hope to see you next time.